today I was given a panel that's been worked on by someone else. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the work that's already been done and make it look like it was never damaged. So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to How To With Kel, where we teach you how to save time and money by doing it yourself. In this channel, we teach you tips and tricks on all things mechanical. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If I can do it, so can you. Okay, so here's our offending fairing. As you can see, somebody's put some filler on this and it's quite thick. What I think has happened is they've said to themselves, this is too hard. We'll give it to someone more capable. So we have got this fairing to repair and luckily we have a machine. Uh, this little guy's called a dual action sander or a DA and he makes very light work of this kind of stuff and it's not perfect when you're finished but it brings it back to a shape that you can actually work with a whole lot easier and you end up with a much 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 better finish um, sanding this by hand will take half an hour sanding it with this machine takes two or three minutes and you're done so all of these patches here will be gone over with the DA we'll break them all down bring them back so they look a bit more like this one does now. Um, this by no means is finished. We still have to block this and reduce that down. Um, I'll probably use 400 grit paper and block it all down, get the shape back the way it's supposed to be, get rid of the, the straight sharp edge that you can see on the edge of this filler here. Um, once that's all done, then we'll move across and we will get rid of all of this gloss because what we want to end up doing is coating the whole fairing in a two-pack undercoat and that will seal everything. If there's any imperfections, um, two-pack shuts it down. So here we are blocking. The reason that we block like this is the blocks expose highs and lows on the material. As you can see, there's a blue section coming through in the, in the middle of that flat area that represents a high spot. When you paint in, in a gloss finish or a high shine, um, those high spots will show. If you reflect the sunlight on them, you'll see them. Any slight, tiny, tiny little imperfections will show. Any poor bog, anything at all will show if you are using a high shine finish or gloss finish. Um, if you use sandpaper just in your hands and, and your fingertips, you will follow the shape of the panel and You'll go in and out of the divots as they happen. Nothing will show. It will look fantastic when it's dull. As soon as you paint it and it's shiny, every one of those will come up and be shiny, shiny. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a horrible thing. So, very, very important that we do this section. This is our foundation. So, if this is not done correctly, everything else will be a waste of time. You may as well just stop. Now, you can try and shortcut, but it will come back and bite you eventually. Okay, so what we have to do now is wipe all this down and make sure it's clean, clean, clean. So grease and wax remover, air hose, get it very, very clean. Get all the dust off it, go in all these little crevices, look in all, the, all these little holes that you see on here. Make sure there's no dust in those, because the second you start painting, it's, it's over. The dust will blow out of the holes and cover it and be all over your paintwork. So when you do this kind of stuff, spray from slightly underneath and get all the edges and make sure when you go around that you've got all the edges so that they're all nicely covered because when these panels stand on their edge, you will be able to see the original color underneath them. So what I've done is I put two coats on here with a flash period of about 15 minutes. So let it flash, take a break for about 15 minutes between coats and I've sped it up so that the two coats are completed in one short piece of film this is now two coats complete. Um, this is dry. We've given this a little rub, very slight rub, maybe 600 grit, even a bit of um, scotch bright, gray scotch bright. Um, and get it relatively smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to be smooth. Um, scrub it again with wax and grease remover. Get it all done so it's all nice and nice and clean. Make sure that it's clean. It's very, very important. Uh, clean it all off, clean it off, clean it, clean it, clean it. Um, 
once you've done that, air hose again, spray all your bits out, check everything, and just double check, double check, double check, and go back, if you've touched the panel like I just did there, go back, and hit it again with a bit of wax and grease remover, just remove any anything that might have been on your, on your fingertips, because if there's any dirt on your fingertips, it will show in the paint, and you'll get a reaction or something stupid like that, and it'll be a perfect paint job, with this silly reaction in the middle of it because you didn't do that. So here we go. Now this had um, three coats of white and I've sped it up once again so that you're not standing here waiting for me to spray for four hours. And you, I think I've got the first coat and the last coat. But once again, wait 15 minutes between each coat just to give it a bit of flash off. And what that does is it enables the paint to go hard enough not to run when you put on the second coat, but not too hard so they don't bond together. So you want you, the coats to join. And if you leave it too long, it's one layer on top of another layer. If you leave about 15 minutes is the recommended, um, you end up with a nice finish and the coats become one solid coat. So that's it. So there's your white paint all finished, ready to rock and roll. Now what we'll do now is once again, this would have been cleaned and this is the fleck going on now. As you can see, there's a slightly different method of painting. This is a two millimeter nozzle on this gun. And the other one was 1.4. And you'll notice that the gun is a lot further away. And what you try to do when you're spraying any kind of fleck is to do it in a uniform pattern. So I'm trying to go over the whole panel in one swoop so that I get a nice uniform lay of the fleck. If you spray in multi directions and lay it all in all different ways, you'll end up with patches of fleck and it does look rather bad. So any of the angles and you know try your hardest to lay it on as evenly as you can, stay a little bit further away from the from the job and it will work out fine. It's not rocket science, you just have to be careful. Okay, so here we go. This is clear coat going on now. So same process would have happened. It would have dried. I would have cleaned it with grease and wax remover. Same process over and over again. Every time you paint from one um, type of paint to another type of paint, from undercoat to color to clear, clean it in between. Make sure that it is spotless clean. Um, so this had three coats of clear and this I believe is the last coat going on right now and this is our finished article as you can see it doesn't look too bad it came up quite well the fleck is actually silver and gold and I did my best to try and reflect the silver and gold it was quite hard um, I could see it with my eye but the camera didn't seem to pick it up as well and it was it was quite hard I, I, I really tried to try and show the, the gold um, it came up quite well in the end. There's your finished article.